love our pets, uh, and most of us love to drive around with them. Lord Ativo is here to make sure that we're doing it safely, right? Absolutely. A, a recent pets. survey uh, showed that only 17% of us are actually driving around with our pets restrained. So it can be very dangerous. That means that our pets might distract us by jumping into our laps, by jumping out of the windows, and distracted drivers can be very dangerous on the road. I saw a doggy come out of a window one time on the freeway, oh. and he fell. It was a basset hound. He fell, and oh. he, op he just, I mean, it was terrible because he wasn't restrained. It was awful. <sighs> No. So who's this little guy here? This is. So this is the dude. The dude is here to help us demonstrate. <laughs> so, um, so are we uh, safe to assume? Put a harness on our dog. We're okay. Well, the 17 percent of us who are harnessing our dogs, we think that we're keeping them safe. But the question is. We don't really know if they are actually keeping them safe or if they're just preventing us from being distracted. Okay. And so what we have right here is a clip to show what it looks like if our pets uh, uh, are restrained. What are we showing like now? These are, the, these are not This is real. from the Center for Pet Safety. Now, let me just tell you that these pets are crash test dogs. They're not actual dogs. Okay. okay. This is without a harness or an incorrect harness or one poorly installed is that in the this front? is with a harness with a long tether okay and this isn't one of our better performing harnesses so this is to show is that from the back seat or the front seat this is from the back seat the back. back seat okay okay so what would one um, look like if, if they are correctly installed it is the right kind uh, how effective are they well, we actually did a, the Center for Pet Safety teamed up with Subaru to do a series of crash tests on some of the top performing harnesses. And they use the same laboratories that they're using for car testing, actually. Oh, okay. Um, do we have, is there a video of the show? Yeah, we do, yeah. and I'm about to show you a clip that shows what it looks like when your pet is harnessed correctly. Oh, well, that still looks really, oh. oh, gosh, they snapped their little neck. But there's, yeah. that's the kind you should, be using. This is one of our better performing harnesses. So it clearly, I mean, obviously not a comfortable position for a dog to be in, but but the alternative would be. Or, or well, the al alternative is horrific because yeah. your pet can essentially become a missile. I mean, it's not just about ensuring your pet's safety, but also human safety. And whether it's the people in your own car, or other drivers on the road, pets who are distracting drivers have resulted in numerous accidents. So I, he just answered my next question <laughs> was, you know, but, you know, I've got Big Fred and I take drives with him and sometimes it can be up to two hours and I'm thinking for him to be in a harness right. sitting there trying to be, I feel bad for him and well, I don't want to do it. But, but he's lying down. But he just, he just took a nap. Well, you can see the dude is an example of a really well-trained and well-socialized dog who is comfortable in his harness, and it's really important that we restrain our pets, but that, you know, we make sure that the harnesses are sized correctly how do and you do so that? that they have the space to lay down. Do you take it to a vet, or do you, when you find, <laughs> how, how do you find the right size for your puppy, for your dog? So, most harnesses come in small, which is about 25 pounds, medium, about 40 to 50 pounds, which is dude, and larger dogs are generally around 75 pounds, so mm -hmm. it's really important to fit the harness to your dog specifically to make sure that it fits well. Can I just put him in a crate in the back? And would he be okay in that? You can. A crate is good for keeping him, f keeping your pet from distracting you, but they haven't actually done any testing on the safety of crates. Sure. And it's really important if you're not right. using a harness to make sure that your crate or your carrier is also restrained by the seatbelt. Yeah, because even so, I guess to think about it, a crate is just not tethered down. It too becomes something that could you know, create a lot of harm. Exactly. How do you, when you when you have a, a pet in this contraption, I mean, he's really wired in. How, how complicated, what's it take to get one of them in these? It's actually not there? that complicated. Yeah, so I'm if I can so just, yeah, I'm around I'm here. Switch. Dude is in one of our top performing harnesses and it actually has a three safety point design. So we've okay. got our seat belt, which is going through the X in the back. Mm -hmm. And then there are two tethers that attach to the baby safety clips, one on either side. Right here too. So this is really great to keep him restrained. This is nice and comfortable. And you can see the dude is, is happy there. and cozy he and seems we'll comfortable. Safe. Yeah, and he not seems to have a nice you know, puppy. position. Yeah, to, dude. To yeah. Fantastic, dude. <laughs> All right, dude, there's a good graphic for you. There's a graphic that explains uh, how to tether them in. If you care to go to our website to get more information on this, we'll have that for you. A full report for the test results. Uh, you can go to petsafety.com.
www.lauraside.org. And uh, of course, you can always visit Laura's site. She's an expert in all this stuff and has that information Thanks, for you as Laura. well. Which is You're where? Welcome. What is site? Where, where will they find you? LauraNativo.com or find me on Facebook for lots more advice and great links to helpful tips.